Learning how to use redstone is one of the most gratifying things in Minecraft. It opens the door to some of the coolest things you can do in the game. But there's one prevailing question I keep getting over and over. Where do I start? That's a very good question. After all, when you have something with infinite possibilities, what the heck do you do first? That's like dumping a bunch of raw ingredients in front of someone and telling them to just get good at cooking. But don't worry, you don't need to preheat your oven, season your cast iron, or locate the lamb sauce, because I'm here to do the thinking for you. Notch help us all. Here are five redstone projects for complete beginners. First on our list is farms, a natural place to start, since this is actually where a lot of Minecraft players get their first taste of redstone, by sheer necessity. Want to have an infinite supply of cooked chicken? Farm. Want to get pumpkins fast for trading? Farm. Sick of harvesting sugarcane on the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away? Good song. The great thing about building farms is that they can be as simple or complex as your skill level will allow. For instance, here's a sugarcane farm driven by a daylight sensor. And here's one with observers. And here's one that uses a sweeping flying machine to harvest a whole field of them. The point is, building an automatic farm will stretch your creativity and knowledge of game mechanics, and it'll teach you very valuable redstone skills, like power, delay, signal strength, clocks, and item storage. Speaking of item storage... The second project on our list is a storage system. And no, I'm not talking about those giant all-purpose storage systems like the Nexus or those multi-item auto sorters. I'm talking about those simple ones that just sort one item per column, which would be perfect for those crop farms that you just built. Using this basic item sorter design, you can designate a column for melons, a column for pumpkins, a column for sugarcane, and so on. This design alone will teach you about the power of signal strength, unlocking and locking hoppers, and the basic principles of tileable design, which is when they can be placed right next to each other without interfering with each other. But beyond the sorters, you'll also learn valuable lessons about item transport. Hopper lines, item elevators, auto droppers, water streams, and so on. The problem of how to move items around is actually a really fun one to get into, and you can go surprisingly deep with it too. And in the end, you're sure to end up with a really satisfying system that you can be proud of. Now those two were quite practical, but redstone doesn't always have to be that way. So let's dive into the more gratuitous side of redstone with this certified classic, the combination lock slash security system. Now I'm aware as much as you are that any redstone security system can be broken with a pickaxe and malicious intent. But that doesn't change the fact that they are so incredibly fun and satisfying to build. In fact, Mumbo Jumbo has said that security systems are one of his favorite redstone projects. So for a complete beginner, I'd recommend starting with a simple lever combination lock, where only one combination of on and off levers produces an output. Even this one right here with just four levers has 32 different combinations. This will teach you about one of the most important things in redstone, binary logic. This is the basis of decision making in redstone, with the decision here being, do I let you in or not? Once you've mastered the lever combination lock, go ahead and try out a keycard system that only accepts a specific item. Then you can take both of those security systems and combine their outputs into an AND gate to make your security system even harder to crack. Trust me, you can easily get carried away with this, and by all means, I encourage you to. It's one of the funnest ways to tinker with redstone. So, now that you've built this impenetrable security system, what should you have it activate? May I suggest the next project on our list? Yep, you knew it was coming eventually. The most classic redstone build of them all, the piston door. Now to start off, I don't recommend you building anything larger than a 2x2. Two two. That's where we start entering intermediate territory. Trust me, I know. But Jazzy, I hear you saying, a 2x2 two two piston door is way too easy to be a challenge, even for a beginner. And you know what? You might be right. 
So after you build your classic 2x2, how about you make it flush with the wall, like this? Better yet, how about flush and seamless, like this, with no visible pistons on the walls when open? That should give you a good challenge. Now with these, we all know that there are countless tutorials online for how to build piston doors, but try your best to avoid them if you can while you're trying out these variations. It's gonna be a head scratcher, but it'll feel so rewarding once you do get it. And you'll learn a lot too. That said though, tutorials aren't all bad when you're trying to learn. In fact, you can use them as crash courses or inspirations for your projects. Which brings us to the final idea on our list, which is to extend another redstoner's design. Allow me to introduce you to this, my nether portal hidden inside a fireplace. Believe it or not, this was one of the first redstone builds I ever made, and 90% of it wasn't mine. This is, in fact, Mumbo Jumbo's 3x3 hidden nether portal from 2013. Is that 10 years ago? God, I'm old. Anyways, uh, you could see that the bulk of the circuitry is, or rather was, well beyond my skill level at the time. But it did inspire me to add to it. So I added this T flip flop here, a few pistons to take care of the top bit, some pistons to extinguish the fire, and some dispensers to relight the fireplace after the portal closes. And as you can see, the end result is pretty dang cool, and overall much more complex than I was able to create on my own at the time. And yet, the feeling of accomplishment was all the same. So go out there and find a cool tutorial that inspires you, and just see what you can add to it. It could be a storage system to a farm, a security system to a door, an auto-triggering function to a super smelter, or honestly just whatever you want. Now, since you made it to this point in the video, I have a bonus sixth idea for you. Here, bring it in. Come closer. Subscribe to Jazzy Red, and also check out the What The Heck series for the clearest redstone tutorials on YouTube. Shameless plug, I know, but, but you get it, I'm sure. Anyways, thank you for watching, and happy tinkering.